Hello there fellows and welcome to another redstone tutorial with Tigers RC. This time we'll be making a mob experience grinder that is extremely compact and resource light that allows you to kill the mobs in a variety of ways so that you can get their experience. It positions them directly beneath a block of lava so that any one hit will be enough to kill them and you can use a splash potion of healing or a splash potion of harming depending on the mob to kill them all at once not only that but it will funnel them all directly beneath this block of lava not only that you can press this button right here to make them all swim and jump into the lava and you could also place a TNT block right there and when you get a few in there you can go ahead and light it and watch them fly. You get all the experience from this because you light the TNT. So that is the farm. Um, this lever turns on a piston clock that funnels all the mobs into the one by one space directly beneath this block of lava. And this button toggles the water stream that will kill them all automatically. If this button and the piston clock are on all the time, then the farm goes completely AFK. So let's get on with the tutorial. Everything that you'll need to build this farm is in my inventory. You'll need four glass, two sandstone stairs, eight half slabs at least. Your floor will be made out of half slabs right next to the farm, and if you want to extend that into your room, you'll need more half slabs. A sign, two water buckets and a lava bucket, a one button, one lever, two sticky pistons, a dispenser, three hoppers, a chest, two redstone repeaters, seven redstone, two redstone torches, and then a block of your choice. I will be using four different blocks. This one will simply be walls and stuff that doesn't use redstone. This one will be the piston clock. This one will be the water bucket firing system. And this one will be the housing for your TNT. So let's get to it. To start things off, you're going to place down a half slab floor in front of where you want to stand to hit the mobs. Then go ahead and place your chest right there and some sandstone right around there. Then um, one right there, not there, an upside down stair and an upside down half slab. Then this is the channel for the water that will make sure the TNT doesn't actually blow anything up. And it goes right around the center like that. You can leave these blocks empty because this is where your hoppers leading into your chest will go. Three like that. Now then place um, blocks there and go up three and then one more to cap it and then around this like so so that you can cap it. Place an, another upside down half slab right there you should be able to see and punch through right about there and then come around this side place an upside down stair right there and a dispenser right there. Go ahead and put a water bucket in that dispenser and put a water bucket down right there. Now then you can take your glass, put it right there, and then fill in this area like this. Leaving the roof and this backside pretty much not filled in. Um, take your sign and put it right there and then put um, your sticky pistons by placing a junk block there 
and then your two pistons, one on top of each other, like that. Go ahead and place your glass on top of those, and then that is the basic outline of your farm, pretty much complete. Now go ahead and place your inputs. This one will turn on the dispenser back there, and this one will turn on the piston clock. Now come around this side where your button is right there, place three blocks like this, and then redstone on top of those three. When you hit this button, it should toggle that water. Now come around this side from your lever, take a redstone torch and place it on the side of the block that has the lever so that when you flick the lever it's off. Now then one block above that come right there place a redstone dust on top of it and then come right here and up another one place a repeater on zero delay right there two blocks like there and there so that your pistons turn on then come underneath this thing right here place a redstone dust there a repeater on three ticks and then a torch and that should show you that when you flick the lever your pistons pulse rapidly now just to finish things up take your lava bucket and put her down right there and then all that you have left to do is to get your mobs into this hole right here. Um, you can make an, a mob elevator right behind these pistons or just funnel them directly in from a mob spawner but whatever you choose to do it's completely up to you. So that is the design completely complete. Thank you fellows so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and found this useful. I definitely do because I find it really annoying to have to drop the mobs 24 blocks or whatever it is so that you can get them to be one hit kill. This makes it really easy. Um, if you have any questions or comments go ahead and post them down in the comments and until next time, fellows, so long.